He goes by the name of the Laugh Therapist, using comedy as medication for his PTSD. Veteran correspondent P.T. Bratton has this story. I am here today and I have the privilege and honor of you interviewing. What? You ain't gotta be that loud. I mean, but. But you ain't gotta be that loud. But go I'm ahead, keep going. Go Can I talk the way you, I talk? You can do whatever you want to say. <laughs> this is gonna be a rough interview. So I'm interviewing the laugh therapist, Mr. Bernard Hines. Yes, sir. He is a Army veteran. Yes. Um, so tell me a little bit about your journey. How did you get from the Army to comedy? Um, first of all, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me here. Uh, my, my journey was, uh, was rough. Rough, I always loved comedy, but I never thought I had, I was uh, funny enough to get in front of people. So I went, took a dare, I was going through life, uh, divorce, uh, P undiagnosed PTSD, contemplated suicide, medication here didn't work, medication didn't work, but the only thing that kept me sane was comedy. How long have you been doing comedy? I've been doing comedy professionally mm -hmm. for, Eight years. Wow. Eight years, and it's been a, a roller coaster. There's been times I want to quit, times I want to keep going, times I don't know why I'm doing this. Every time I get on stage, I am terrified, really, anxiety, everything, because the approval. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know, people say, man, you funny, but to yourself, you still have to get over that hurdle. But my lovely wife supports me. She gives me uh, my medication on time. <laughs> Uh, and she just, she, she's my biggest supporter. So it's interesting you said the anxiety because mm -hmm. that's one of the things that usually comes with PTSD. Correct. Is anxiety. So Correct. you actually have to overcome that. Yes. For the therapy. Yes. <laughs> every time, it's crazy. Every time, I ain't gonna say every time, but 85% of the time I will book a show and I'll be like, why in the world did I do that? Because that anxiety, because you have to, even though I've been doing comedy for eight years, mm -hmm. you still have to prove yourself every time you get on stage. Yeah. So what 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 things can you do? You think add or that you can take away from the army experience that kind of help you in in your new career? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no. The thing the thing I like about comedy from the military mm -hmm. when I'm on stage, can't nobody tell me nothing. Mm. This is my this is my area. Mm -hmm. Nobody, you can say something out there in the audience, but I got the mic. Nobody's gonna like you said. Nobody's gonna hear you. They're gonna hear me. Right, right. You know because any military person, when you in the military, the military told you when you can go, mm -hmm. when you can come, how long you can stay, whether they sending you to Iraq, if mm -hmm. they gonna send you to Afghanistan, if they want to. So every all my life, like for twenty years, I've been told when I'm gonna do something. So now. You can't tell me nothing when mm. I get on the stage. So that what releases me and makes me feel like I'm in control. Even though my anxiety is gone, mm -hmm. I'm in control of this because I know the next joke. Yeah. You don't know the next joke. I know the punchline that's gonna make you laugh. Yeah. So it's like I'm in control because when you got PTSD, it seems like you are not in control of your life. Yeah. It seems like everything is controlling you, the anxiety, this on the job, we're doing active shooter training. So you, you always, you hype, right. but up here, Right. Is is freedom. Give you a little background. I got three people in my head. I got Vernard, Christian, and Felix. Felix is the one to tell the jokes. They all dirty. He give them to Christian. Christian cleans them up. Give them to Vernard, and Vernard give them to you. All right? <laughs> now, I know somebody out there say, that boy got people in his head. I get a check for these people in my head. Some of y'all got people in y'all head probably don't get a dime. All right? So... We gonna talk about me, I'm gonna talk about y'all, and check this out, I am a therapist, but I'm not licensed, I'm just medicated. <laughs> All right, I'm not licensed, I'm just medicated. Thank you for bringing me up here, put me in the MGM Grand, it was lovely, man, everything is good. You know, by that slot machine, yeah, ha! Yes, sir. Uh, how many of y'all play lottery? How many of y'all play lottery? Be, this side don't play lottery? Must be church people. I'm a Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't play the lottery regular. I really don't. But when the lottery get over $250 million, my devotion comes from the book of numbers. <laughs> Why else is the book of numbers in there? <laughs> Let me hit and bring $25 million to anybody's church. Who gonna turn me away? Nobody. $25 million, you can put folks out your church you don't like. 
you were talking about divorce. The lawyers are good for something. Don't you say that. Because he got my child support reduced. Don't you ever say a child, a lawyer ain't good for nothing. See, because when I came back from Iraq, okay, I got divorced. I wasn't the only one that ever got divorced. I was married for 28 years to three women. So, you know, 10, 10, and now I'm on eight. And we, we said, we ain't going to judge me. I'm not licensed. I'm what? Medicated. Medicated. But no, y'all, I went to the courthouse, and the judge told me, Mr. Hines, you have to pay child support. I said, excuse me, excuse me, Your Honor. What is child support? I'm with these children all the time. I'm supporting them. He said, you're going to have to pay child support. I said, okay, no problem. He said, Mr. Hines, your child support is $1,500. I said, excuse me, Your Honor, these ain't Tiger Woods kids. <laughs> I said, who is the uncircumcised Philistine in the back that's adding this up? I said, God only asked for 10%. How come she get 30? I said, excuse me, Your Honor. I got a little spiritual. I said, Your Honor, I was watching TBN the other night. Little white lady named Sally Struthers, she said, for a dollar, you can feed a child for a month. That's the child I want. You can keep this little $1,500 child. Boy, with that dollar child, I brushed the flies off his mouth. Push it on it. I'll write the check right now, $12 for the whole year. <laughs>